Now we've seen a roller coaster reaction from world markets, and Korea is no exception. We go live to our Hwang Jihae at Korea Exchange for more on the market reaction. Jihae, the end of that 43 year membership is putting strains on local shares today. Tell us more. Yes, Daniel, it sure was a frightening day for many investors. The benchmark cost be opened above the 2000 level on the back of hopes that Britons will decide to remain in the 28 nation regional bloc. But the final result sent the index plunging to 1,925, closing down around 3%. The same goes for the country's tech heavy COSDAQ. The index raised all of its earlier gains and shed a whopping 4.7% today. After poll results started to put the Leave campaign in a stronger lead, its shares plunged triggering a sidecar. We've seen two sidecars kick in so far this year, including today's. The system acts like a circuit breaker that suspends transactions for five minutes. When shares rise or drop by 3% or futures by 6% or more for over a minute. The tech-heavy index saw both a slide beyond the 6% mark, triggering the temporary halt. The Korean won, of course, also weakened significantly against the greenback and traded at 1,179 won, weakening by nearly 30 won from the previous close. Uh, let's shift our focus to markets outside of Korea. Tell us more about the drastic dipping digits there. Well, Daniel, not surprising at all. Asia saw some massive plunges today. The Nikkei closed down nearly 8%, and its futures at one point shed over 8%, putting a circuit breaker in motion. Chinese stocks have plunged as well, with the Shanghai Composite down around 1%. Hong Kong's Hang Seng also closed down almost 3%. This all comes as investors are now looking for safer assets with the Brexit actually taking place. And as you said, markets haven't been pricing in that uncertainty, so the trend has been further amplified throughout world markets. The British sterling once plunged to a more than 30-year low against the U.S. dollar, as you heard earlier, down nearly 10 percent. The Japanese yen, which is traditionally considered a safe haven, surged to its strongest level since 2013, once trading below 100 yen against the greenback. Now, this prompted Bank of Japan Governor Haruhiko Kuroda to say he's open to provide sufficient liquidity, including strap lines among six central banks. Now, gold, another safe asset, also rallied, jumping around 8%, hitting $1,355 an ounce around noon, the highest price since 2014 in Asian trade. This was Hwang Jie from Korea Exchange.